<laughs> They're everywhere. They're everywhere. everywhere. Oh no, I'm good. I'm, I'm like, no. All right. Come on, princess, suck it up. Ow! Almost two years ago, we left it all behind for a chance at the sailing adventure of a lifetime. It has not been smooth sailing since then, but together we are learning and laughing our way through. Our hope is that if we laugh long enough, we can make our merry way around the world. And this. This is a Millennial Falcon. So we've woken up and we are still just around the corner from Anne's La Roche and uh, it's been a little bit of a rolly night so we think we're going to go head round back to the main bay um, of Tyrrell Bay. Uh, we're going to do a little bit of grocery shopping, redo our cruising permit. And then hopefully the next day once we're all supplied up and the work is, well, the work is done, we'll um, nip around to Saline, weather permitting. En route to uh, Ronde, because I want to go back there, it's a nice place to pit stop. And then on the way to Grenada, where we're going to pick up some postage that we've had coming forever. Which might, might, or why do I keep doing this? Who are you <laughs> which, quoting? <laughs> Please tell me. Which may or may not arrive, we'll see. It's an easy run, it's nice flat water out here, it's not bad, it's not a bad day. I think, it's a bit fluky, so I'm not sure which way we're going to be set up. I think it's going to be kind of downwind or maybe beam on and then harden up on the breeze coming into Tyrrell. We'll see. Anyway, we're going that way and we're going to turn. We're going as far as you can see around the back of that island and then turning left. Okay. Yeah. Sun? Yep. <laughs> Beautiful silence. Love it. Creeping on through the channel, 10 knots, run out of wind. Just gotta try and lay this point though before it swings around behind us. I don't know if we're gonna get it. We'll see, we'll just keep cruising. The current should carry us to. Still doing three and a half. Mm -hmm. Just don't jibe it out of me. Slowly, slowly creeping into anchor. Feel like a half of you out. Full main still. 30 degrees off the wind, doing about two knots. This is great. If there weren't so many boats here, I'd say let's drop anchor on the sail. That would be a little irresponsible, I think. It is a lovely morning. It's just gone 9 a.m. and we've uh, we did some supplies. Uh, sorry, we did some supplies. We did some supply shopping yesterday at uh, Alexis here in Tyrrell Bay, but we spent we spent a lot of time in Tyrrell Bay, um, and we're quite determined to sort of get off the grid and go explore places we haven't been. And um, just around the corner is a little place called Saline Islands that we've never been. It's like a mile on, just on the other side of this hill behind you. Um, so we're just going to nip around there. It's quite a calm day today, and the wind is going to shift round to the north, uh, northeast tomorrow, which is also a perfect, perfect conditions for going to Grenada, um, where we are headed to collect some post that you guys have had coming in for a while now. All things considered, the postal system's running pretty badly, uh, but they're apparently they have touched the rock in St George and are waiting to clear customs. Um, so yeah, we're going to head down to Grenada. 
tomorrow or the next day with this with the northeasterly breeze and as a pit stop we're going to go check out this little place saline island have some fun today just there maybe we head up there so one more boat length so we've anchored in seven and a half to eight feet uh, which is by far the shallowest I think we've ever anchored in Possibly, yeah. uh, so we're both like Ooh, this is nerve-wracking um, it's quite calm though, it's actually quite cool. It's a lovely spot. I just, um, we're on a bit of, uh, we're sort of on a lee shore, and I am expecting the wind to swing around to the north, which will put us more onto the lee <clears throat> and swing us inwards to the shallows. Anyway, we are here, we have arrived, may as well go for a snorkel. So what started as a uh, as a quick dive on the anchor and a bit of a chat by the boat has now evolved into a full snorkeling expedition. We are uh, going to just head out to this little fringe reef over here that kind of encapsulates the whole of Saline Island. Um, I reckon there's going to be a rip roaring current, so it might be brief. But we're just going to go and just hoon around in the dinghy, see what we can find, just do some scouting. I have got the spear gun here in case we find any lionfish. Um, because whilst you're not allowed to spear in uh, Grenada, uh, it's widely accepted that mine fish are fair game um, for obvious reasons. So we might get lucky and jag some dinner and do a solid for the reef. Um, if not, well, we'll just go and see what we can find. We're back on the boat. Yeah, snorkeling in that spot wasn't really so great. It was a little dead and also very, very, very shallow. There was so much fish life, which was really awesome to see. That was really nice. But it was just very shallow to the stage where it was like grazing my stomach. And I was like, mm, I don't want to hit anything. I don't want to, yeah. Um, but there were lots of fish, which, were, which was very cool. So I think um, we may try another place later. Um, but for now, Adam has suggested noon at time beers, and I'm not opposed to this option. It's quite nice here. got everything so we have been here one night we went for a snorkel yesterday um, uh, I'm stuck <laughs> my bags in the way Woo. getting there okay um, so last night was a, mm, a bit of an eventful night we woke up at 4am with a bit of a bump um, I had been up for a little while because the wind was blowing our wind gens aren't kind of keeping me up a little bit 
Um, but we woke up with a bit of a bump at about 4 a.m. and it was because it was low tide, the lowest that we'd been here, the lowest that we'd had since being in the anchorage. What was seven feet of water when we put the hook in was six feet of water when the tide went down and we have a six foot draft so we were bumping along the, along the bottom of the floor. Um, we really kind of stuck it out for about an hour or so until the tide went back up again and this morning we just moved a little bit. We attempted to go around to what, where it's called um, White Beach or White Bay and it looks really really nice around there it's just this other little island that just across from us here on saline island and uh it was a little bit too rolly to anchor there so we're gonna head over there in the dinghy i packed a bit of lunch adam is gonna take his kite kite surfing stuff over with him not wakeboarding stuff this time kite surfing stuff um and uh and we're gonna try and see if we can have just like a little day on the beach and just try and kite surf and yeah sounds a bit fun for us Nice beach. what happened to use a rubbish kayak bump so it's not inflated anywhere near enough it's just not enough wind today okay it's a 10 meter kite and we've got barely 12 knots what should we do instead hey what should we do instead i don't know snorkel yeah or maybe a nice little walk yeah i do want to go for a walk go up to there we very quickly came to the realisation that hiking to the top of that hill was not something to be undertaken in board shorts and flip-flops. So instead, we opted for a walk along the shallows. I'm going to film my Adam falls on his ass. Go on, Ads, go faster. Go on, go on. The following day we decided against the sail down to Grenada as the wind had decided to slacken off and swing around to the south. Additionally, the African wave train was in full swing for the season and one happened to be making its way through the Lesser Antilles. So we decided to head back to Tyrrell Bay and wait out the rain. Strangest thing. So um, Adam and I were planning to just get a little bit of a drone shot underway, um, but with our drone, it's um, it's a Mavic Air, and we really, really don't feel very comfortable trying to catch it underway. Um, it's just like it's the tiniest of things, so trying to catch it is really, really hard. Um, so anyway, Adam was like, "Oh, that's fine. I'll just quickly nip to shore, just take a bit of a drone shot, and come back again." I was like, "Adam was wearing a white top when he went out there. Why is there a red top in the dinghy?" 
He just randomly picked up this person from the middle of the rocks. There's no roads nearby. So he brings this guy back to the boat and it's somebody um, swimming for conch. He wanted to come around to the same part of the island that we were going to be on. So we said we'll just give him a lift uh, in the big boat. And so 20 minutes later, Adam's now kind of kind of invited himself on, uh, on a conch expedition uh, with this guy, Kel. So this is my new friend Kel, he's going to teach us how to conch fish. We're just out the back of Salian Island on pretty well a jagged reef. How are we going to do this brother? Well, first we're going to just go to the island and fetch the conchs, look at it first, we'll make sure everything nice, water nice, and then we're going to go at it. We're going to just pick up conchs, he's on the rock. Like, do they hide in a particular spot or they just kind of around like in the rocks like in here? Yeah. yeah, you want to see him there in the rocks. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, we're just going for it's like a like a scavenger hunt. <laughs> <laughs> How good is this? All this time I've been just walking past all this perfectly edible food. I never once thought, gee, that's a conch, I should grab that. Huh? What'd you get now? Oh, I learned something new, yeah, absolutely. Well, I know I wasn't allowed to spearfish and I'm not very good at fishing, but conch, yeah. conch can't run away. Oh, oh, yeah, I see them on the rocks all the time. Try one. Yeah. Like salty, just good. That's quality wash. <laughs> good. Sweet salty, sweet salty. Yeah, sweet salty. Yeah, like like a salty, creamy, sweet salty calamari kind of consistency. Yeah. Yeah. Ready to be one? Oh, when we're done, when we're done, just keep it out of there. You yeah, get that's some. it. Oh really? Yeah. Oh my god. Well, Kel does. Kel's gonna retire on this hole. Oh my god. Okay. All right, here we go. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is insane. Oh, that's actually really heavy. So you literally couldn't carry anymore. Is that why you returned back home? Yeah, like, so Those are... Catch, like, all this time we've been like fretting about weight, about not being able to fish, we could have just been hauling conch like they were going out of fashion. Well, that's their shell. That's just what oh, they're okay. like. They're everywhere. You like literally just grope around the rocks until you find a smooth looking one and give it a wiggle and if it moves, it's like, <laughs> oh yeah, that's a conch. <laughs> they're everywhere. They're, they're everywhere. everywhere. That's crazy. Like how long were we gone? An hour and a half? Yeah. There are so many conch, it's just crazy. Um, so apparently to cook them, you need to make them tender first. And you can either do that by hitting them with a tenderizer or um, Cal's method that he and his family or his mum uses is just to boil them for like an hour with in salted water. So we're just going to do that method and uh, come back in a little while to see if they're cooked. So that's how you know they're done when they're like white. They take that white colour. And they smell like And they smell fishy. Are you can do that? I'll show you the gate though. Oh, you just pull it, just like oh, that. Oh, wow. It's so easy. Oh, so once they're oh cooked, they, they don't hold on. It's like a little muscle. This whole thing here? Yep. Oh, oh so nice. all of this is not, you wouldn't eat that. Yeah, you can know. Well, you can eat that, but mm -hmm. that's not what goes in like a... Mm -mm. Okay. That was the meat. Right. Come here. 
Right, inside that little go. stem. And here, they eat, they eat crab, so you might get a little crab. Oh, Alright, oh. All right. Um, so I'm thinking of making some conch fritters. So we're going to have to strip and dice like yep. So that's 50. your job, boys. Oh. Kongs, 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 and more kongs. <laughs> so many. So how many shells have we been through now, you reckon? Oh my goodness. There's like... I even check. It's not even 15? half the bucket no. and there's a full bowl of yeah. conch mm. there. So damn, that goes a long way. Mm. I had no idea there was so much meat in them. I know. There was a crab. You want to try? Oh, no, I'm good. You want to try the crab? What, there's crab in there? No, I see you. Try the crab. No, I don't want the crab. Try the crab. I don't want the crab. I'm and plus, we've got next one. Crunch. Oh yeah, it's like um, soft shell crab. It's oh, exactly bam. soft shell crab. Yeah, oh, bam. It's, it's good. good. <laughs> I'm such a wuss. Pre-digested soft shell crab. <laughs> I'm like, no, mm. no. <laughs> uh, so yesterday when uh, we had Kel around. I, the kitchen was really, really messy. Everything was just everywhere. So I didn't really summarize too well what I was actually making. What I was making was some uh, conch fritters. Um, and we have some leftover conch here, so I'm just gonna make up some more today. Um, they actually taste, oh my God, they tasted so good. They really, really were good. Um, it's pretty much just like a general batter mixture. Um, and I've got some onions in there, some curry powder, and then obviously the conch as well. Made some uh, aioli, which is usually with mayonnaise, except I put half aioli. Aioli. Oh. Aioli. Yeah, no, aioli. I used to say aioli. <laughs> aioli. <laughs> half when I was a kid. Uh, aioli with some uh, with some mayonnaise and some garlic and lime and basil. But to try to offset the unhealthiness of this, I put half Greek yogurt in this, um, which actually tastes really, really good. I recently discovered that you can make Greek yogurt just with powdered milk and I always used to make Greek yogurt back at home so now I'm like oh I'm in my element I'm so so happy I'm so Don't happy. Don't give away all your secrets in one episode. What that I had yogurt? <laughs> so <laughs> I made well, yogurt now. Yeah. Mm. This is so good. Definitely hit it. Come on, princess, suck it up. Ow! You're supposed to pull it out, not push it through my <laughs> foot. You're trying to recover it from the other side. <laughs> ah, ow! That's not funny. Found a good old hole there. Oh. So, she's picking urchin spikes out of my feet. I didn't notice them yesterday. Ooh. Did you get it? Yeah. Slip right out. I didn't notice them yesterday. And I had reef walker shoes on. But this morning, all my like my feet sort of came up in like little swollen sore bit. GoPro stop recording. <laughs> 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 